Nice to meet you all. The topic of the session is definitions. What is the purpose of defining something we are going to see now? We have two reasons for giving definitions. One is to comprehend a scientific or technical terminology or to unveil the ambiguity or the complexity of a technical jargon. So when I say technical jargon, we need to know what is a jargon. The students of engineering belonging to various disciplines might study a set of words related to their field of engineering in specific. Such words, the list of words which go only with a particular field of study is called as a jargon. So when I say technical jargon, the technical jargon of engineering uh, in electronics and communication science may differ from CSE and mechanical engineering may differ from mechatronics. So we need to know a clear definition of all the jargon. That is why this topic is given in the syllabus. There are two things. I just repeat, to comprehend a scientific and a technical terminology, we define the jargon. To unveil the ambiguity, ambiguity is actually created due to the uh, answers available, a lot of answers available or a lot of guesswork that could be made over that particular word. So it creates in fact confusion. So to come out of that confusion or to solve the puzzle, you need to define something. Then how to define these things? How to define the te technical jargon? That becomes a question. These are the answers for that question. One, how to define? We are defining a technical jargon to, to simplify it in fact. So it should be lucid. It should be simple. The definition should be simple. It should be in a single sentence which is very, very essential because we may write a number of sentences in the same definition. People may not understand what is written. Even when we speak, if we speak fast, probably people will not make out what we are speaking. But we have to be very clear. Uh, when we write a definition, we have to be very clear to give it in a single sentence so that it is very, very comprehensive. It is easy for comprehension. Third, this is the methodology we normally follow to define a technical jargon. Let's concentrate on the third point which is very, very important. The term the classification or the family and the functionality and usage should be mentioned in a sentence. When a technical jargon is given, when a technical word or a scientific word is given, when we define a technical or a scientific word, we need to mention all these three things in a single sentence which is very lucid. So all these three things go together. So these three things must be there, there in a definition. These three things must be there in a the definition. Otherwise, the definition will not achieve the purpose of making the reader understand what it means. As I mentioned prior, it is very essential to have these three elements in your definition. One, you need to tell the name which you are going to define, the jargon. You have to tell the jargon, the term which you are going to define and you have to tell the classification or the family. Third one, you have to tell the usage. Usage of that particular device or usage of the concept, scientific concept or usage of the science object or whatever it is, whatever the term you have given there, the usage or the functionality must be given here. So these are the three parts of a definition. Let's go one by one now. These are some of the examples I have given here. A generator. Let's take the word generator. A generator, we have given the term here, okay, which belongs to probably mechanical jargon. Here is a device. Device is the classification. We are classifying this term here. A generator is a device used to produce electricity. So I am telling the giving the usage for what I am using this generator. I am just defining the usage of it, the functionality or the usage of the term which we are defining is given there. Now it is easy for comprehension. A person who may not understand what is a generator will easily understand what a generator is now because you have given it in a single sentence as per the rules given there already. Then the language should be sim simple. The language is simple here of course. And the third one which we have seen is it should have all these three 
components which are there in fact term classification and functionality all the three are there let's go to the next example now an induction motor so induction motor is the term which we have taken for defining is a prime mover i am giving a small description here of the induction motor i am not telling whether it is a device or something but sim simply i am giving the word phrase prime mover which still describes the term an induction motor is a prime mover and what the induction mo motor is actually doing that is given here the functionality of the induction motor is given here let's go to the next part which supplies mechanical energy to run on single or three phase ac supply when i say which supplies mechanical energy to run on single or three phase ac supply i am defining the usage or i am describing how it functions or what is the functionality for what it is used i have given the usage of the induction motor in the third part so this definition of the induction motor also has all the three components which we have seen prior now we go to the third example a lathe a lathe it is a machine see the here lathe is the terminology and classification is the machine the word machine classifies it once again a lathe is a machine for what it is used the usage is given here for shaping articles of wood or metal so lathe is a machine for shaping articles of wood or metal is the definition given there what is very essential to define a technical jargon i repeat when you define a technical jargon we should define it in a simple language and the language should be and the sent it should be in single sentence and the third one is it should have all these three components number 1 the term must be there you should not simply say it is so don't start your definition with it is better give the term itself there so don't start your definition stating it is a device which is a device so be very specific of the device which is given for definition so uh, use better use the word term itself or the jargon itself so term classification and functionality all these three must be there in any of the technical definitions when you give it very brief i have given further examples for definitions this is for better understanding let's go through the examples now a microscope is a device used to magnify tiny objects invisible to the human eyes so microscope is the term device is the classification and the functionality is given here what is the functionality it is used to magnify the tiny objects invisible to the human eyes next one battery car battery car is a car so what is the classification here it is also a car it is a type of a car so battery car is a car run by battery then next example is spanner a spanner is a tool see how the terms differ here the classification differ this is what this should not change it is a device means the device i cannot make use of this term here um, this classification here i cannot say microscope is a car so the classification should be a perfect word that match with the terminology given the classification i repeat the classification should be a word that matches with the terminology given so we have to be very careful of the word which we are using it uh, to classify so a battery car is a car run by battery a spanner is a tool used to loosen or tighten nuts the usage of the spanner is given there and spanner is classified as a tool it is a tool used to loosen or tighten nuts a capacitor a capacitor is a device i am calling capacitor as a device here i have classified it as a device for storing electric charge microbiology now it is a part of science it's science it's a science so i am classifying it as science it's a type of, it's one of the sciences okay so microbiology is a science that deals with microbes so what this subject teaches or what the subject deals with is given there so it's a part of a science it's also a part of a science so it is classified as science itself so when we define a technical jargon we have to be careful of the three rules which we have studied number 1 it should be simple number 2 it should be in single sentence number 3 it must have three components one 
the term terminology must be there, the term, the classification must be the second one, third component must be the functionality, the term, the family or classification or and the functionality or the usage, all these three things must be there in a single sentence which is very simple enough, then it will be a perfect definition.